This is Paul Gordon, the State of Wake. This is a follow-up on the Turkey coup going on right now, the military takeover of Turkey. <laughs> Be sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel, State of Wake. So this coup is going on here, and uh, as well earlier, uh, some pictures. I just say, heard some. Uh, there are some shots that were reported on a bridge. Erdogan has called out the people to rally for him. You do see people coming out. And the question is, what will what will the military who pulled off this coup, what will they do in response to these calls? I'm just going to show people those pictures of that gunfire on the bridge just a short time ago. Were they firing into the crowd, or were they firing up to scare them? Really looks like they're firing into the crowd there. There you see they're just uh, running about there. You can see the pictures of people taking shelter behind that bus as it as yeah, it Yeah, they were definitely not firing there. warning shots. They were firing into the crowd. I think that makes it very clear where the military stands on this. In the center of Istanbul, Lisa Holland, both... A Turkish hospital is reporting 780 injured so far. ...to take to the streets, and crucial what will happen on the streets in the hours ahead. Not sure if that's accurate or not, but yes, I, I that's what I'm seeing here in our scroll here of folks that are actually in Turkey talking about what's going on here. Um, there are various uh, key points um, that they will tick off on their list, take control of the TV station so they can get their messages out. They, will, they, they did um, seize the TV access, station, but I now the the they, the, the TV station is off the air. A curfew. Now, obviously, just looking at these pictures here on our screens, that's something which is quite simply not being adhered to. So they're doing um, a little football it's booing. Too much not sure if that's going to be effective. Uh, jumps the confusion that all of those people there would be supporters of President Erdogan, who had taken to the streets in protest. Um, but it does give you a sense that certainly that there isn't a clear picture on the ground at all. You, you had reports earlier of the chief of Turkey's military had. Um, Got the call to prayer going on right now. Hostage was a word that was used, and was just coming in at the right way. That's certainly what was being described by people on the ground. You've also got the commander of Turkey's first army division saying that this attempted coup is being conducted by a small faction. In his words, there's nothing to worry about. It really is something to worry about. It's something very, very significant to worry about. Um, but obviously people being told to stay indoors as well. You can see from the traffic chaos there following the closure of the bridges that that's not something which is possible. So you've got people almost trapped out on the streets and it is this, this, this sense of confusion and uncertainty um, now which appears to be reigning in, in Istanbul this evening. And I noticed that there are some pictures that have been posted on social media appearing. So I want to I want to make a commentary here also about how uh, the coverage that I'm seeing, uh, I, I picked uh, this live stream of, of, of all the live streams so far, and I see another report here, 200 killed. Again, these are these are people that are on the ground that are reporting these things. Uh, so I'm not, I don't know whether 200 killed or not, but uh, certainly it does appear that there are some folks that have been killed. But I want to talk about the the coverage in general. You 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 know who the powers that be really want to see stay in power, and it's Erdogan, because the Western media that I've seen so far, all of the language that they use, they talk, they stress that Erdogan is the president, that he was democratically elected. We could talk about how 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 much of a, a, a democracy it really is, considering the level of uh, thuggery that this regime has used to 
to scare people uh, into even even daring to run against him. But uh, ne never mind that the uh, the the lie of the democracy. It's very clear that the West favors an Erdogan presidency. So that means that the West is comfortable with the emergence of an Islamic state in Turkey where there used to be a secular state. Let's listen to a little bit more. Going to show protesters climbing onto tanks and challenging uh, the military. Uh, some standoffs uh, between police and military being reported. But again, it's very difficult to, to verify those reports uh, from this situation here. Uh, so, yeah, a very fast moving situation. And in the meantime, for the people living in those cities, hard for them to get the information too, given that the broadcasters in some cases have been taken over. Yes, now we saw that um, TRT, the, the um, state television, um, the newsreader there put out a... You know, another interesting thing here is uh, uh, Erdogan is using FaceTime to uh, communicate to the quote-unquote people, uh, the people that support him, and these would be the people that are benefiting from, from his coercive enterprise that are supporting him. Uh, so we've we've entered a new era where social media. Well, it's not new, but it's being uh, heightened here. Where 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 social media is is now the tool that the the ousted regime is using to con communicate with its people. So when a military coup uh, or a coup in general, if it occurs in a country, you know, you want to take out all the means of communication and the one of the key means of communication now is the interwebs and i i doubt seriously that a a military coup so quickly could do that uh, i'm looking at this and what i'm i'm feeling is well i'm really interested to see what russia and china do and that's going to tell me everything i need to know about whether this coup is going to go forward or not because if Russia and China equivocate in any way, shape, or form, if they, uh, or the heaven forfend, if they actually back Erdogan, if they equivocate in any, any way, shape, or form, it's just a matter of time this, this coup will be over. Erdogan will return to power. But if they come out strong in support of the coup, I'm telling you this coup is going to take and there's going to be a new sheriff in town. Ironically enough, the people that would... Uh, defeat Erdogan were once very pro-West, and I think that they're going to have to accept their their new master. They're going to exchange their Western masters for their Eastern masters. And this is Paul Gordon. If you like this video, please be sure you like, share, comment, and above all else, subscribe to the State of Wake channel, because if you don't, we will most assuredly conduct a military coup all up on you.